In this video, we will review how to utilize conditional logic in functions. More specifically, we will take a look at the SUMIF function, AVERAGE IF, and COUNT IF. To access these functions, you click on the Formulas tab, look in the Function Library, and then click on Insert Function. First of all, for some if, we have two teams, red and blue, and we have some scores. Now, so that we don't have to sort the scores, we want to know what the red total is and the blue total. And the easiest way to find this is to use the sum if function. Let's just take a look at that function for just a moment. First of all, you put in the first range, like what we've got here for red team and blue team. Then you put in the criteria for the red total formula. Obviously, we would have red team there. And then you put the range of values that you want summed. And you can see here that it did its job. It only summed the scores for the red team. And if you add up, that's 40, 55, 65, 70, 80, 95. If you add the red scores, then you can see that that is the red total. Now, let's try it for blue. We'll go to insert function, type in sum if, click go, click on it, enter the range for the criteria, then you enter the criteria in quotes, and for this one we want to add the blue team. And then the range that we want to sum is right here. And then click OK. And if you add up the blue numbers very quickly, they do total up to be 80. Next, let's take a look at average if it works very similar. You can see that it's going to average um, what we, we have the, the criteria here. We set the criteria for the second part of the formula and then we tell it what to average based on that criteria. So it's, it's pretty much like uh, the structure of it is like sum if. So let's go to formulas, insert function, Type in average if, click go, click on it, click OK, enter the criteria range, enter the criteria, which again is going to be blue team, and then select the range of values that you want averaged, and then click OK. And then lastly, let's take a look at count if. You will put in the count if formula, the range where you want something counted, and then the criteria for what you want counted. And we're just using like uh, survey question number three responses here. We're counting the number of yeses and nos. So for no, we click on the cell, click on insert function, Type in count if, click go, click on it, click OK, select the range, and then enter the criteria. And for this example, we will be entering no, and then click OK. So we've got a total of 18 responses. And if we select that, we've got nine rows times two columns, so that is correct. And this concludes the review for utilizing conditional logic in functions.